What is up, everybody? Welcome back again. As always, make sure to turn on notifications so you know when new content's coming out. And share, like, and subscribe. And use these talking points when your friends try to say dumb stuff to you. You can use our raw takes, no apologies. And educate them people. In the words of the great Michael Irvin, you can fertilize their brain. Something you can do. So, with that being said, huge, huge news, guys. The Cowboys have hired Mike Zimmer as their new defensive coordinator. I will tell you what, guys. I like this hire. I am a huge, huge fan of this hire. One, Mike Zimmer can draw it up. Mike Zimmer can just flat out coach defense. I like Mike Zimmer. I like the fact that he's been in Dallas before. He knows how Jerry operates. He's not going to be, there's not going to be a shock factor of, oh my God, this is the Cowboys. The stage is not going to be too big for Mike Zimmer. Mike Zimmer knows what's expected in Dallas. He's been in Dallas before. He knows the territory. He knows his way around the facilities. He knows what he's doing. So I like the familiarity with the way things operate in Dallas. The other side of this that I like, and this is a big one, Mike Zimmer, despite his kind of more reserved um, press conference presence, like when he was the head coach in Minnesota, Mike Zimmer is a hard ass. Mike Zimmer rides guys. He demands perfection. He is he is all about hard-nosed physical football. And he is a drill sergeant. And he is intense. And that is exactly what we need from this coaching staff in Dallas. This is exactly what this defense needs. There is too many pretty boys on this defense that like to talk a lot and can't back it up and get bullied by real teams that like to punch you in the mouth. Yes, Micah Parsons, I'm talking about you. And I'm sure you guys are going to be in the comments, Micah Parsons is awesome. Micah's great. Micah's a big mouth who no longer can back it up. Micah is a great player, but his mouth has overloaded his ass. He talks as if he's the greatest player that's ever played in the NFL. He's not. He's not even the best defensive player currently in the NFL. If you gave me a choice of who do I want, Micah Parsons or Nick Bosa as a pass rusher, I'm taking Nick Bosa. Who do you want, TJ Watt or Micah Parsons? I'm taking TJ Watt. Why? Because these guys show up every single week. And they show up the biggest on the biggest stages. Micah Parsons does not. Great defenders. Let's look at Aaron Donald, for example. Aaron Donald, great defender. What did he do in the Super Bowl when they needed him the most against the Bengals? He made two huge stops. Two huge back-to-back -back stops. He showed up when they needed him the most. When we need Micah the most, where is he? Getting one assisted tackle against Green Bay. And the thing that I like about Mike Zimmer moving forward is it's guys like that where he's going to change the mentality with guys like Micah Parsons. It's not going to be run your mouth. It's going to be shut up and back it up and go punch guys in the mouth. He's going to bring a physical mindset, which is what Dallas has been missing all of these years on both sides of the ball. Once outside of a few years in the DeMarco Murray phase where they were physically dominant on the offensive line, Dallas is no longer since Travis Frederick left. That offensive line has never been the same. They lost their quarterback of that offensive line in Travis Frederick, and they lost a physical presence. Um, and that offensive line has never been the same. And all those 90s Cowboys and all the successful Cowboys teams in history, physical, nasty on both sides of the ball. Dallas hasn't had that in a long time. That's why they can't win because they play teams like San Francisco that are physical and nasty on both sides of the ball and they get bullied. They play teams like Buffalo and they get bullied. They play teams like Green Bay that can run the ball and they get bullied. Now we're going to have the opportunity where 
we're going to have a physical presence coming from a Mike Zimmer. He's going to demand these guys play physical. He's going to demand these guys are at the are are ready to go punch people in the face. And I love that. And that's what this team needs. But on the other side as well, the other side of this that I like, especially when you have a guy like Micah Parsons. One of the reasons Micah doesn't show up is because it, he is not utilized properly. Micah is a linebacker. He is not a defensive end. He is not big enough nor strong enough to play defensive end every single down. And I've said this time and time and time and time and time again on this channel. You can look at multiple videos talking about the Cowboys from this channel. And we continue to talk about Micah Parsons not being able to, to play defensive end consistently. Micah Parsons is a great pass rusher. If you want to use him on pass rush downs, that's fine. But you, he needs to play linebacker to help stop the run. You have no linebackers on this football team. He needs to play linebacker to help stop the run. It also helps keep guys off balance. Keep offenses off balance. When he goes from defensive end to middle linebacker to outside backer to the opposite end to now he's heads up on the center on a, on a third and long... They don't know where he's lining up. That's why he was so successful his rookie year. That's why we thought Micah Parsons was going to be this crazy player because we saw this production his rookie year. And a lot of that production was scheming him. It wasn't his talent. It was him being schemed into positions to use his talent to the most of its ability. And that's what we've lost is Micah Parsons now because he was schemed. And a lot of times when you guys looked at Micah Parsons... He wasn't getting these sacks as a rookie from the defensive end position. A lot of them were coming as a blitzing linebacker going heads up on centers and guards. And most of his career, he, most of his success has been going head, heads up on centers and guards. He has not traditionally done well throughout his career playing and trying to beat left tackles, trying to beat right tackles, trying to beat great pass blockers. He has not had success doing that in his career. His success has been being schemed into who's the weakest offensive lineman. Let's put Micah heads up on him and see if they can compete. And they can't usually. And that's going to be something that I think Mike Zimmer is going to bring to the table is forcing Micah saying, I don't care if you want to get paid as a defensive end because they make more than linebackers. I don't care if you want to make that type of money. We're going to use you effectively. Either you're going to be the Swiss Army knife that you are as a football player. Or you're worthless to us. And like I said, that's Micah's skill point is he is a Swiss Army knife that you can play in multiple, multiple positions, confuse offenses, and have him wreck games. And I think that's what Mike Zimmer brings to the table because Mike Zimmer runs a multiple defensive scheme. He's not a 4-3 guy. He's not a 3-4 guy. He's a multiple defense guy. So Mike Zimmer likes to line up in multiple looks as far as running a base 4-3 but making it look like a 3-4 and then changing it post-snap and being able to run schemes from a 3-4 and run schemes from a 4-3 and run schemes from a multiple zone defense. That's what Mike Zimmer does. He's a multiple, multiple defense guy. And that is going to allow us, especially with Swiss Army Knife pieces like Micah Parsons, like a Demarion Overshone, who's another Swiss Army Knife type of guy, with a lot of those undersized Swiss Army Knife pieces, having a multiple defense is something that is really, really, really awesome for the personnel in Dallas. Being able to do multiple things and, and steal 3-4 techniques and use them on a 4-3 scheme and steal a 4-3 scheme and use it on a multiple zone look. That's stuff that's really, really, really cohesive with the personnel that Dallas has. And I think is something that's going to be able to get the most out of the Dallas personnel. Like I said, because Mike is a guy that needs to get moved around. Marion Overshone is a guy who's, who's going to need to get moved around. Marquise Bell is a guy who's going to need to get moved around. A lot of the defensive line guys are guys that need to get moved around and play multiple positions. There's a lot of guys on that Dallas defense that play multiple positions. And now, obviously, having um, uh, Trayvon Diggs back and Stephon Gilmore wanting to come back, and I believe they'll bring him back. That's absolutely something they should do, and I think Mike Zimmer's going to want to bring him back as well. Um, having three 
of the best corners in football on the same team and having them all be able to play multiple multiple things like having Bland be able to play outside and Diggs play inside and Diggs rotates and he can play multiple positions as far as in the slot and outside and being able to rotate those guys around and Bland's outside one play and Diggs is in the slot and now Bland's in the slot and Diggs is outside. Like I said, there's a lot of moving pieces and there's a lot of very creative schemes and creative movement and and positioning that you can do with this Dallas personnel. And that's why I really, really like this Mike Zimmer hire is his ability to have all these Swiss Army knife pieces and being a multiple D defense guy can now move them into multiple looks and multiple things and do very, very creative schemes with his multiple defense scheme that he runs. I I, I love that as a fit. Great job, Jerry. And I love the fact that, like I said, he's familiar with being in Dallas before. He's been there before. Um, obviously, he was the D.C. Um, at, at a point when DeMarcus Ware was there for stretches. Um, I think, obviously, him working with DeMarcus Ware. DeMarcus Ware can, is going to be able to help Micah get insights. Him and Micah speak often. He'll be able to give Micah insights on the way that Mike does things and how to play inside of Zimmer's defense. Um, and Zimmer's going to have familiarity coaching somebody like a Micah Parsons dealing with DeMarcus Ware. So, um, like I said, oh, all around... Like I said, you know, the proof's in the pudding. We got to see it on tape. We got to see it on the field. We got to see how it plays out. But on paper, as a hire, this looks like an absolute home run. Former head coach, has is familiar with the building and the organization, has a scheme that fits your personnel absolutely perfectly, and he's a hard-nosed, tough guy who is going to force these guys to play physical football, force them to show up um, and, and and not get bullied and beat up at the line of scrimmage, um, which is, like I said, a huge thing that's missing from this defense. So overall, like I said, I think it's an absolute home run. I love the Mike Zimmer hire, um, and it's something as well that if this defense does do really well and things do go really good with Mike Zimmer being the hire, that... I think we all are aware that McCarthy is going to be gone next year. So Mike Zimmer is a guy with former head coaching experience that could immediately step into that role. And he had lots of success at the Vikings. And like I said, depending on how things go and if Mike Zimmer still has it and can get this defense rolling, that's something that I wouldn't be opposed to seeing a hard-nosed, tough guy like Mike Zimmer instilling that throughout the entire football team as the head coach. Um, when McCarthy's gone, I, I wouldn't be opposed to that hire based on what we see next year as well, because he's had a lot of success as a head coach in Minnesota going to um, conference championship games and and really bringing a tough physical style um, when he was at the Vikings as well. They were a tough physical run team. Um, and the other thing that really, you know, when I think about it um, from from the Mike Zimmer side that I that I really like as well is the fact that Mike Zimmer has the capability to move guys around and do a lot of creative things on the defensive side. And that's good for the personnel. But on the other side, Mike Zimmer isn't a guy who takes a lot of chances either. He doesn't He's not a huge heavy blitz guy, you know, things like that. He doesn't leave his back end exposed a lot, which I think is going to be a, a key factor in that run defense being fixed and becoming better is Mike Zimmer's a guy who doesn't let guys take a lot of chances. He puts them in sound assignments. This is your job. This is his job. And they have to follow assignments, and it's very structured, um, which I think is going to be a huge, huge thing um, for fixing this run defense moving forward because the biggest problem with Dallas is, one, they get out physical at times, but but one of the reasons that it looks like they get out physical like way more than way more than what they actually are getting is because they have no run discipline. They have no lane integrity. They have no rush lane integrity. They have no run lane discipline. Guys just start stunting and moving and doing whatever the hell they want, and then teams take advantage of that and just blow open holes. Zimmer is a guy who's going to make sure those guys have lane integrity. 
and they're and they're fitting holes and they and everybody's doing a specific job. They're not just running around chasing, you know, chasing the ball and chasing eye candy. They're they're going to be disciplined on I don't care. You are going to stay on this side and you're going to fill this cap, this gap, and I don't care where the ball goes. So that is another thing that is going to be, like I said, I think huge with Dallas. And hopefully having that discipline, Zimmer will be able to install some some rush lane discipline um, as well with these guys, staying in their rush lanes, not, let, not letting quarterbacks jump out the pocket on them, staying where they need to stay, um, and, and bring more of a controlled rush um, versus what we've seen in the last few years with Dallas, just this all-out, free-for-all coming after the quarterback. But then guys scramble, it opens run lanes, they, they run draws off it and power run game, and hopefully we can see a more controlled rush so those draw plays aren't open, the quarterbacks aren't jumping out the window, it's not leaving gaps and opportunities for coordinators to exploit with, exploit with power run um, schemes. So like I said, overall, I, I really, really, really like this Mike Zimmer hire. I think it's an absolute home run. And who knows, like I said, guys, Mike Zimmer might be the next head coach uh, if, if, if McCarthy tanks this year, which I think we are all assuming he's going to. Lame duck coaches never work. But We'll see. But I think Mike Zimmer is actually going to upgrade this defense. Um, I, I, I like Dan Quinn, but at the end of the day, um, Dan Quinn was too much of a player's coach, and they weren't a very disciplined defense, and they w weren't really sound as far as their assignments and different jobs and things. So I think Mike, Mike Zimmer bringing in a lot more structure is, is going to be a good thing. I think him being a a hard ass and riding the players and, and bringing a physical mindset is going to be a massively beneficial thing. Um, and I think we're actually going to see a better defense than we saw under Dan Quinn. Like I said, I think Zimmer's scheme fits better. Uh, I think his personality is, is needed. And, and, you know, like I said, he's just a guy who's been a very, very good defensive play caller for a long time with loads of experience. And, and with this personnel, he's going to be able to do a lot of, a lot of creative, fun things. So should be good guys. Excited, to, excited to see what happens. And, um, we'll go, we'll go from there, but overall, great job, Jerry. Great job, Steven, Will McClay, Mike, whoever else was involved in the decision. Zimmer, absolute home run. Love it. And, uh, Hopefully it turns out as good on the field as it looks on paper. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you tuning in. Until next time, share, like, and subscribe. And as always, raw takes, no apologies. Peace out, guys.